Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. I just wanted to show you guys um, an unbagging, sort of. I mean, it was... Um, if you would seen my previous video of an unboxing I did for the company ZSJ Diamond Painting, I will link that video right up here in the corner, in the eye. Um, after... I had undone, unboxed that, I went and joined their Facebook group, and I noticed that they were doing a giveaway, and it was right around St. Patrick's Day, because you had to just, um, you had to do a couple things, tag a couple people, and then go to a certain post and out, type out Lucky. Well, I watched their video of the giveaway, and I actually won. They gave away three diamond paintings, and here's mine. Um, I received it on March 6th. It's been, it's been really hard for me to try and catch up on unboxing things, and I feel really bad, but I will link them in this video once I get it posted up, and you guys can tell me what you think. I kind of remember the one I chose. But, um, not quite sure. I think it came from Amazon. So they, they, I think, they do believe they sent it either straight from Amazon or from their website. But the sticker on here is kind of something that reminds me of what comes on Amazon stuff. Um, it did come pretty fast, so... It must not have been around St. Patrick's Day, because that was just... It was in... Anyway, it was the beginning of the month of March, and now it's the end of March, and so they just put Lucky on there to do Lucky. Lucky winner. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the one I picked. Awesome. It looks like it's a 30 by 40. And this actually does, um, I'm really familiar with what a 30 by 40 looks like. And this is, this drill area is 30 by 40. Um, it is a round. And I'm sure you've seen this image before, but I liked this one the best. It has this owl up here on the, let me move my light a little bit, get it out of the way perched on the tree and then it has this other snowy owl coming down right here and it's got the lady in the snow I mean up close it looks really pixelated but of course we know we don't want to look at them up close because it, it doesn't look like what it's supposed to look like up close. We're not supposed to see these things close up. They're supposed to be seen from far, afar, afar, at least three feet away. And I think this image looks really good. Um, here's the thumbnail. Because that's the only picture I have. I didn't print anything out. Because I had forgotten what it was I ordered, what I picked. So there's the thumbnail. I'm not sure, um, these trees in the background may not come out as clear, but the main subject will, which is the lady, of course, and, and the two owls right here. So it does not have the training wheels on them. Uh, the, the, the symbols are pretty... Um, well, they're clear on the canvas. They're just, some of them are a little confusing to me because number 26 and 27, they both look like S's to me and they both have the same color background. Um... That might be an 8, and the bottom one might be a 5. Oh wait, yeah, because 20 is an S. Um, 
So one thing I could probably suggest is that the key be a little larger and maybe some of these symbols be changed around to something that's not so confusing. Well, I'll look at number four. I don't know if you can even see it, but it's really tiny. It looks like it's an X with an arrow pointing off of it. I'm going to have to use my magnifiers to see what these are. Some of these are, so... Um, They have a lot of lowercase, they have some, well, they have some lowercase letters and uppercase letters, numbers and symbols. The mixture is, yeah, that's what it was. That is an X with the arrow coming off of it. I can see it over here. So I can see the symbols better on the canvas itself than I can on the key. But some of them I still am having a hard time reading. Um, I think it's an R or K. it's either an R or K. So I'll definitely have to use my magnifying glass on those, but like the uppercase letters are easy to read. It's the ones with the brown backgrounds that I'm having a hard time with. But this doesn't is not extremely stiff. The canvas isn't extremely stiff, which I've noticed on the ones that are really stiff that I have a harder time getting them to lay flat. Um, it was rolled around the drills, so um, it, they aren't deep creases, so they should this should probably should come straighten out once I have it underneath the other. I stick mine underneath my other canvases that are waiting to be done and it'll flatten them because it's heavy because there's a lot of them. So I'm just getting my all right so this helps flatten it just a little bit works better on the opaque covers but it does work with these sometimes Especially when they have, um, from being folded, sometimes they get air pockets between the glue and the cover. There we go. One more wrinkle here. There we go. Alright, so it's nice and smooth for me. As you can see, it's, it's flattened quite nicely. And once it's under heavy stuff, these creases should come out. I'm not one for ironing unless I absolutely have to. And because I don't get to things right away most of the time, I don't need to iron. So, and you know, we like to iron them. Some people like to iron them, but most of the time they will say on them, do not iron. Some glue there. All right, so let's see. The toolkit has a nine placer, a big chunk of wax, and a green boat. The drills are nicely lined up in here. It does have 27 colors. I see number 27 there. I might be able to actually see through here. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 9, there's 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. <laughs> so I didn't have to, I didn't have to take them out to do inventory. So we can look at the colors here. We got a little bit of pinks and blues. A little bit of mauve colors. These light purples. And we've got, this isn't the white white, it's that um oh and they do have dmc numbers on them so it is the 3756 that's this um, greenish white color <clears throat> the white with a green tint to it 
So that is going to be my snow area here and her dress. And the owl too. So that's going to be interesting on how um, that those colors turn out. Because it looks like it would be more white. But it apparently is that... I don't even know what color that would be considered. But it is used a lot. It's one of the most popular colors. Um, it looks like 823 in there. Or 959. Let me see. 939, sorry. So yeah, that's 939. That big bag. And... Alright, so they don't have... There are no 310s. And so the darkest color is the 939, which is M, which is all this dark stuff here. The trees. So this has a lot of color blocking. There is not a lot of confetti in here. The most confetti areas are probably the owl's chest and underneath the, underneath the wing here. And maybe a little bit in here. But there is, you know, on some here. I love color blocking. So this is going to be one of those kinds that I can do pretty quickly because there is a lot of areas that have big blocks of the same colors. So I I love it. Um, it's, it was a free painting. It wasn't a promotion. I actually watched the video where they pulled the names. She put each name on a piece of paper and folded it up really small, put it in the box, shook the box. My name was the first one that was drawn. So had nothing to do with the fact that I have a YouTube channel. He did send me one to begin with. Um, the first one that I showed you guys, that was one that he had sent me promotional to get his name out there, get their store a little bit of attention. This was just a bonus. I received this because this is the first time I've <clears throat> entered a drawing to win a diamond painting and won. I've not entered any other drawings. Um, I did do the ones with uh, on on AliExpress where I you can get the freebies, but I didn't do it right. I was supposed to take a bunch of pictures and give a big review on it, and I never did. So I stopped doing it because I have enough work as is doing my videos and doing the pen shop and writing reviews on Amazon for the sellers that want you know that send me promotional stuff that <clears throat> that huge thing you know it's not worth it to me I don't need to bother with trying to get any free diamond paintings on there by having to write a bunch of stuff up if I win I win you know I didn't expect I was gonna win this and I'm I'm super super happy and <clears throat> they seem like very nice people um, it's I don't I don't remember their names and I feel really bad but um, there are, there's a lady and a man that work together and they um, have their, their little shop. So I will put their links down below again. Um, don't forget to check out the first video that I showed um, up here in the corner in the eye. Don't forget to click that eye and check out the other video that I did for the unboxing for the first time with this company. And yeah, give them a try. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you again very much, um, ZSJ Diamond Painting, for my free diamond painting. I love it. It's beautiful, and I can't wait to do it. So thank you again. Thank you, thank you. Have a great day, everyone. Have fun diamond painting, and always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care. Bye.